all so high and who are going to be the biggest losers in all of this? Well, there, there are a few reasons why it's going up. Um, firstly, we've had lockdowns for two years and we've had during that time, we've had huge amounts of money printed. So that money has to go somewhere. Also, during lockdown, we had a re reduction in production um, and also distribution has been um, have had problems. So all these things put together has meant that it's been there's more money in the system and there are fewer goods, fewer items to, to buy. Add to that the Russia Ukraine crisis and we have huge shortages in, in all sorts of areas there. It's not just oil, also quite a lot of commodities, a lot of things that, that we use and we don't even realize we use like potash and elements of fertilizer, all sorts of things are suddenly much, much more expensive. And so that all adds together to create expense, great um, increases in the price of, of, frankly, basic goods. And when you say, you know, who are the biggest losers? Well, it's everyone, honestly, it's, it's us, it's, it's consumers, because it's expensive, very expensive for us to fill our petrols, our cars up with petrol. It's very expensive now for us to heat our homes, and it's increasingly expensive for us to eat. So we're not talking about champagne here. We're not talking about, you know, great, uh, amazing designer goods. We're talking about the basics. It, it's everybody, and particularly, of course, those on, on the lower income as ever, who are actually having to to pay for this more in a sense you know than anybody else in terms of the percentage of their their income that's going out